Jane and Machine. My name is John. We've got Seth's block, Model A block, set up on the milling machine, and I'm going to make the first pass to see how good or how bad the deck surface is, and we're going to get it straight and uh, just follow along and see how many thousands that we move off of this block. Okay. Basically, the mirror image of the where the cylinder head was low, it left the shadow of the gasket area where it was impacting on the block. You can see basically these jagged outlines is where the cutter went across the low spot, and also the very back of the block isn't square. So basically, when they machined it from the factory, plus you know 80 odd years of hot and cold cycles, basically the block is a bit distorted now. Change out that bit again? Yes, yeah. And cut the rust out of it. Okay, we've removed the final of nine thousandths off a of Seth's block. And you can see basically from what it was to what it is, it's like my proverbial thumb test. You can see my reflection of my finger in the cast iron finish. And this is good to go now for the surface. The next step will be boring the cylinders. Please bear with me as I change the cutter head to the boring head and we'll be good to go. We are now converted the machine over to the boring bar which I have set up in, the, in front of me here. I've indicated the 
cylinder hole off the unworn surface of the cylinder and we're going to now proceed to bore the block to the next oversize which I believe will either be 20 over or 30 over depending on where we clean up our number two and number three cylinder because that's typically the most worn of all the blocks due to the fact that when the center main goes then the cylinder concentricity goes as well. So basically the way that this machine operates is I have the setting fixture set up on it and we anticipate that this block may clean up at 20 thousandths oversize and I've basically adjusted the micrometer as well as my dial indicator so when I set my tool bit depth it should read to perfect zero with the amount that I've calculated for the 20 over. I've got the machine set up now it's like we tried the first shot was at 20 over but unfortunately since the head gasket had leaked water into the cylinder the cylinder the wall was pitted so hopefully go on another 10 thousandths or 30 over and we'll get the, the rust stain out of the cylinder wall and we can carry on from there. just did the final pass and it cl did clean up a 30 over and after I bore the cylinder we have to chamfer the, the very top edge so we can aid the entry of the piston rings once come time for assembly so there's no sharp edge at the at the very top of the cylinder wall here and you just want to make a little yeah just a little, just angle, a little angle as the fact you can see in number three and number four that the factory went a little bit overboard on their chamfer mark but it serves the same purpose. Um, we've just finished boring the, the cylinders out. I cleaned up a 30 over. I've machined all the chamfers as you can see the shiny angle here. And uh, now the next step after we clean it off, get the, the chips off of it, we're going to machine the valve angles. <laughs> 